Safari discontinued their support of the Windows version back in 2012. So if you have the 2012 Windows version, then you just need to install that like you would any other application. Go to the Start menu, the Control Panel, the Programs and Features, and then select Safari and Uninstall. Now if you have it on the Mac OS, then it's a little bit more complicated because you can't actually uninstall it like you would any other application. It requires either a third-party software program or to reinstall your Mac OS. And let's go ahead and do that. Now if you're having troubles with Safari, you can just reinstall by clicking the Apple icon, click on Restart, and when we restart, we'll click on Restart, and whenever it begins rebooting, we're going to hold down the Command R key. And then what's going to happen is we're going to open up to the OSX Utilities menu. And from there, we'll be able to select reinstalling our Mac OS. Now, the thing about reinstalling your Mac OS is that it won't actually affect your files. So you don't have to worry about you know anything being deleted, although it's usually a good idea to back up anyway. Um, but it's not normally a problem. And so once we get to this Apple icon, we can go ahead and release the Command R key and just wait until it starts up the uh, OSX Utilities options. All right, and then select your language. And we'll go with English and click the Continue arrow. Great, and then from here, we'll select Reinstall OSX, click Continue. And you'll want to make sure that you're connected to the internet. So for me, I'll click on the wireless icon, select my wireless account, and input my password, and click on Join. And then once it finishes connecting, any moment, we'll click Try Again, and we're good to go. From here, we'll just click Continue, Continue, and just follow the prompts from here. We'll click Agree, and then just continue following each prompt until it downloads it, restarts your computer, and then the installation process will take place, and then you'll reboot again, and then you'll log in just like you normally would. And that's what you need to do in order to reinstall Safari on your system.